ahead of us in. If that's possible, we have that much space uh, in between the, 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 the cells in our bodies. This story is not just superstition about Jesus suddenly appearing into the room. He could do so. Of course, He was the Son of God. He could do anything He wanted to, right? Amen? Amen. He could appear uh, there to them. The Old and the New Testaments are the records of God attempting ever since then to bring man back into right relationship with Him. Faith is not believing in the spite of evidence. Faith is believing and knowing that God's Word has spoken to us that He is alive. Notice with me there, there's one verse that I want to key in in verse 45. In verse 45, the Luke tells us that He opened the minds of the disciples so that they could understand the Scriptures. I believe that God wants you to understand that He loves you. He cared so much for you that He went to the cross of Calvary and He died on the cross to carry our sins and our mistakes and our failures forever and ever. And all we have to do is lay it at His feet and allow Him to have that in our lives. That's simply saying, God, take control of my life. Change my life. And let me live for you as best I can each and every day. But the thing is, God wants you to understand His Word. Now, we're going to the book of Revelation uh, on uh, our midweek service, which uh, uh, is going to be uh, on Thursday nights now instead of Wednesday nights. Uh, our men and women's group are going to combine, uh, give Emma Rita a rest, and, and she wants to, to study uh, Revelation. So we're, we're studying the book of Revelation uh, on uh, Thursday nights now. I believe that we can understand Revelation. And how can we believe that? We have the Holy Spirit, Jesus' Spirit, that He left here with us. And we can ask the Holy Spirit, give us your divine wisdom concerning this Scripture. And I believe He will help us get through the book of Revelation. Amen? Amen. Amen. One final thing as I, I share with you in verse 53. And they were continuing in the temple, praising God and blessing God and fellowshipping one with another. How wonderful that is. Jesus' ascension remains a great mystery to many. Obviously, there is no up in the universe. But His dramatic physical uh, uh, body leaving, taking means so that we shall see Him no more in His resurrection presence until that day when the whole world will see Him come again. This same Jesus who is taken up here uh, in the, the ascension there uh, in verse 50 when He had led them out into the vicinity of Beth Bethany. He lifted up His hands and blessed them while He was uh, blessing them. Uh, he was taken up into heaven. Then they worshipped Him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And they stayed continually in the temple, praising God and worshipping Him. As I think about Bethany, I think about Matthew, the 26th chapter, the 6th and 13th verse. And Bethany is where Jesus is anointed for His ministry. He's anointed by a woman who is known to be a harlot or a prostitute who comes in and breaks a very expensive uh, a jar of perfume and she pours it all over his body and it runs down his body and there she takes her own hair and she wipes the feet of the master uh, uh, with the tears coming from her eyes. And I think that the... Uh, uh, Jesus says to him that she's done a wonderful thing. Leave her alone. She's done a wonderful thing. She has anointed my body for burial. And then we see in Bethany, a short distance right side of Jerusalem, Jesus is taken up into heaven and He goes into the clouds of the air and we have the hope that one day He will come in like manner. Praise the Lord. Amen. So we close in prayer. <coughs> Heavenly Father, we thank you for your resurrection. 
We thank you for your ascension into heaven. Thank you that we have hope for the future. That we can put our trust in you. That we don't have to worry about dying. Father, anyone who confesses that you are the Son of God has eternal life. 1 John 1.9 says, He who has uh, uh, the Son has life. He who does not have the Son does not have eternal life. Father, if there's one here today that would say, I do not have the Son in my life today and would like to have the Son in their life today, would you just raise your hand with every head bowed and every eye closed? Is there someone here today who say, yes, I, I, have, I know Jesus in my brain, but I never received Him. The Bible says, as many as receive as, as many as receive Him, to them have they been called the sons of God. Is there anyone here today who's never received Jesus' Spirit, His Holy Spirit, into your life today? Would like to do so? Would you raise your hand today? Is there anyone? Praise the Lord. Heavenly Father, we must all be believers in You, Father, today. Father, I pray and thank You, Father, for each of the believers here today. Lord, I pray, Father, that, Lord, as we believe in You and we trust in You, Father, we receive You. You said, Behold, I stand at the door and I knock. If anyone opens that door, I'll come in and sup with them. And, Lord, we ask that You be with us, Father, as we continue on in our life. Sometimes it's hard. I know I think about Sister Jane and, and about being without Bill. Life must, it must have been hard without Bill, Father, uh, and being there. I know she must miss him deeply, but I know, Lord, that you didn't leave her as an orphan. Lord, that you've been with her every step of the way, Lord. And I know that you've been with many of us. Father, some of us who've got our lives messed up. Father, we've gone in the wrong direction. We're trying to get our lives straightened back up. Father, I pray that you uh, just be with them, Father. Let your spirit be present with each and every one that's trying to work and, 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 and better their lives. And, and I pray that they will just simply put their trust in you, Lord, and, and go with them each and every day. Father, thank you for uh, those who have uh, come today uh, to support the ministry of White Maya Baptist Church. Uh, it means uh, so much to you, Father God. And I thank you. Thank you that I, I've been faithful to your calling here and to serve you here, Father. Uh, as Paul said, uh, unto Festus. Uh, Festus uh, and King Agrippa, I was faithful unto the heavenly vision. Lord, you gave me a vision. You told me uh, that you would provide a church for me to serve. Uh, you, Father. And you didn't promise me a rose garden. You didn't promise me hundreds and hundreds of people. But you promised me a church that was your church that would be a lighthouse into this community. And Father God, as we look back at these pictures on the backboard, we have been a lighthouse into this community. Lord, please let us continue to do so and continue to reach others and love others into the kingdom of God. For it's in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. So can we close in our, our closing hymn?